Hey guys, I'm Jamie. I am a member of the Joyful Oilers um, Essential Oils um, Business Builders with Young Living, um, and I'm also a blogger at the Stay at Home Mom Survival Guide, where I share some of my essential oils recipes and um, different tips for using them at home. Um, tonight, I want to um, show you how to create a really simple and extremely inexpensive DIY gift bath salts, and you can also use them as a foot soak. Um, there's a lot of ways to personalize this with essential oils, um, but it's really quick. We're going to basically make all of my um, two older kids' um, teacher gifts right now, real time. So all you need is baking soda. Got the big bag here. You need um, Epsom salts, which you can find at your local um, drugstore, and they're like really, really inexpensive. Um, you're going to also need a mixing bowl and a spoon a one cup measuring cup, a tablespoon, and then your essential oils of choice. I like Melrose in a foot soak, um, but since we are getting towards Christmas and the holidays, wintergreen would be a good one, or peppermint would be really nice. Of course, stress away would be good for those um, evening foot soaks after a long day or baths. Lavender would be good, or pan away if you wanted to use a blend like pan away in this too. You can also um, do that, but wintergreen and peppermint are both in Panaway, so using those in this might be um, kind of a nice way to preserve that Panaway blend for other issues. Um, anyway, you also need some jars. These are eight ounce jars, um, so I'm just gonna line them up, and I'm gonna get the tops off. We've got the big mixing bowl here too. So since I'm making five, all I need for my salts is five cups. And I'm just going to kind of do a rough measure because I need a little bit less. Eight ounces is the top of that jar. Two. So I want to leave a little space. Three, four, and five. So there's five cups of um, Epsom salts. And then we need five tablespoons of baking soda. Pretty simple and really easy for kids to help you with too. Two, three. Uh, uh, baking soda is really good for the skin. Epsom salts are soothing and kind of detoxing for the body. And of course the oils are really supportive for a lot of different uses. And let's mix that. You don't have to mix it. You can just pour salt in each jar and then pour your baking soda on top. Put your oils on and close it up. I'm just trying to make this a little bit different way so it's more a large batch so you can see how you can do, um, get it all mixed up and then that way in the jar you can just use a little bit of the time if you want in your bath or in your foot soak. So then these, this mixture goes in each jar. It's about a cup per jar. So I'm just going to fill it up like that. Not too tall or high though. I want it to, I want the lid to go on. Here's a second. And filling the um, jars over the bowl like this too kind of saves your cleanup because you know that the salts are going to go everywhere. If you have kids help, you can always get a cookie sheet and put the jars, just line the jars up on the cookie sheet and then they can um, go along and scoop in and the uh, cookie sheet will catch all your, all your loose, loose salt or baking soda that might um, fall out of the jar while you're pouring. So there's five bath salt jars right now and I'm going to make these with wintergreen. I really like the smell of it. Um, I think it's really nice for the winter. So it's just 10 drops in each jar and then I'll kind of infuse through the salt. So this is a little bit time because we you have your kids do this one too. They can count each of the drops while they go in. Someone as young as a kindergartner could handle that one, right? Even preschoolers. And last one. All right. So I just leave it like that. I don't mix any further. Um, just put the lids on and tighten them. And this will kind of um, just, like I said, it'll infuse together. You don't have to really overly mix um, by the time you give the gift, it'll be great. 
You can put a ribbon around and tie a little tag on, just telling them that it's a bath soak and a foot, so uh, foot bath salts or foot soak. <laughs> uh, and um, just how to use it. Just pour half the jar into a um, basin with warm water um, and soak your feet for about 20 minutes. Otherwise, you can put the whole jar in the bath, in a warm bath. Um, and it's just really nice. What a nice little gift. So this is my kids' school gifts done. Um, have fun watching the rest of the homemade DIY gifts. I'm taking notes too so we can make some really quick inexpensive gifts with our oils and give people the benefit of that wellness.